Welcome to the Polestar 2. This is the first standalone model from the Volvo owned brand in Australia. And it is quite an interesting little package. You could think of it as a spiritual successor to the Volvo V40, sort of. It competes in the same class as the Tesla Model 3 and BMW i4, featuring a fully electric powertrain in either single motor or dual motor forms. Here we're testing the flagship long range dual motor variant with the optional performance pack fitted. The performance pack comes with some very tasty items, including big Brembo brakes coated in a distinct gold finish with matching seat belts and valve caps. There's also a very serious Olean suspension package with adjustable dual valve dampers offering 22 different settings. You do need to get under the car to adjust the fronts though, but it's an easy twist that you can do with your hands. The rear is a bit harder as you have to peel back the wheel arch cover. The performance pack also includes these rather stunning 20 inch forged alloy wheels, wearing 245 40 Continental Sport Contact 6 tires. Buyers also have the option of a power upgrade package, lifting power by 50 kilowatts. However, this example sticks with the standard 300 kilowatt tune. Out on the road, the ride comfort is firm and sporty, which it should be in our opinion, as that's what a performance pack is all about. You can always adjust the dampers to suit your roads. The handling is very confident and controlled, with good levels of feedback presented to the driver at all times. We think it feels even better when it's pushed really hard, such as through a demanding mountain road or on a track. And thanks to the instant response of the electric motors, you can pounce from corner to corner with serious pace. Aside from the awesome handling and proper hardware underneath, we love that the interior is so cool, calm and collected. It's quite a relaxing place in here, with minimal buttons and controls and a very simple, albeit large, touchscreen tablet on the dash. Even the gauge cluster layout is really pleasant to digest and you can flick through a few different display themes. Most materials in here feel high quality, with very little of that off-putting scratchy plastic that we still see in modern cars. Passenger space is pretty good, and the driving position is excellent. Rear seat space isn't bad either, for its size, but we're not sure why such a large transmission tunnel needs to exist, given there is no tail shaft or exhaust running down the centre. The Polestar 2 does share the CMA platform with the Volvo XC40 though. Boot space is rated at 405 litres, including a 41 litre cavity under the floor. With the rear seats folded down, the space grows to 1095 litres. There's a handy partition that folds up, which is great for stopping smaller items from bouncing around. Being an electric vehicle, there is no engine under the bonnet. Instead, you've got 41 litres of additional boot space. There's also an electric motor tucked away underneath, and combined with another motor at the rear, the package develops 300 kilowatts and 660 newton meters. In our opinion, the performance is just about perfect for this style of car. This is what it goes like.